Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Raging Dusty here, and today we are going to talk to you guys about if this phone right here, the Galaxy S21 Ultra, with its sexy-looking design that's a little dirty, is still worth it in late 2022 going into 2023. And I'm just going to say this. The short answer is yes. The long answer is also yes. So, um, now... I do have some people asking me if they should actually get a Galaxy S22 Ultra, which I shall go grab right now. Ugh. Right here, I have the S22 Ultra, which is my current daily. Should they get the S22 Ultra or the S21 Ultra? And personally, actually, if you ask me, if you don't care about the S Pen, the S22 Ultra and S21 Ultra are basically the same phone, but... This, in my opinion, actually has better battery life. So, if you really need the S Pen, like, you absolutely need this guy right here, the S Pen. Then, yeah, the S22 Ultra is a must. Because it has a built-in, whereas the S21 Ultra, you have to buy a separate accessory to use the S Pen. Which, if you ask me, is stupid. But, uh... Yeah, personally, I'd say if you don't care about the S Pen, buy the S21 Ultra. If you do care about the S Pen, spend the extra couple dollars and buy the S22 Ultra. But honestly, I would still save your money and go with this thing right here. Because the S21 Ultra, in my opinion, is honestly, it's basically, like I said, it's an S22 Ultra, but without the S Pen built in and a slightly older chipset. Other than that, Let's get right into why you should buy the S21 Ultra in 2022, going into 2023. Even though, yes, there is a new Galaxy S23 Ultra coming soon. Number one is just the design. I mean, just look how sexy this phone looks. Yeah, this is the black model. This isn't the model that I unboxed on my ASMR channel. To anyone wondering, that is actually a silver model, which my brother inherited. And broke because it's my brother this is just my mom's old s21 ultra she now has an s22 so yeah and number two it's the display the display is still plenty bright and yes this one's running verizon because this is a verizon model the display is still plenty bright it's got 120 hertz it has an under display fingerprint sensor it's really good for hdr video and yes, it is buttery smooth, which you can't really see on the camera. So, the display is one of the reasons why you should get this phone. The next reason why you should get this phone, especially over the S22 Ultra, is battery life. The battery life on this phone lasts me longer than on this phone, and they both have the same size cell. Why is this? That is because the Snapdragon 888 is manufactured by TSMC, whereas the Snapdragon 8 Generation 1 is manufactured by Samsung. The nodes are, at least. So, whilst the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is a little bit more powerful, it's not more powerful by much. As a matter of fact, especially if you compare it to something like this, the Fold, the Fold's power, it's really only like 5% more powerful. So, honestly, if you're upgrading for power, don't. Just don't. Waste of time. Do not do not buy an S22 Ultra over an S21 Ultra just because it's more powerful. Because it's, it's not. It's only 10% more powerful. If you're waiting for absolute power upgrades, you may as well just wait for the S23 Ultra. Because that's going to have significant power upgrades over any of these two phones. The next, the next reason why you should buy... The Galaxy S23, or not the S23 Ultra, what am I saying? The S21 Ultra, sorry. I'm I'm all confused. Too many Ultras, let's just say that. The next reason why you should buy the S21 Ultra over the S22 Ultra, or even the S23 Ultra, honestly, is the, is the camera. The camera on this phone, it's, you may as well save yourself a couple dollars by getting this over this. Because they have the same camera hardware. They literally have the same camera hardware. The only thing different is the processing. 
Other than that, the processing on this phone, in my opinion, is a little bit better than this one, but they still both come out with great photos, unless you're my dad, who's terrible with cameras. The photo quality on this phone, you guys are going to be super happy about it. And honestly, yeah. You guys will like the photos. I think I actually do have one test photo on here. Or a couple, actually. I have one of Quill. And actually, oh, the other one is of Quill, too. They're both of Quill. But yeah. You guys can see, the camera on this phone is great. And no, that's not a crack on the screen. That's actually just on Quill. So... All right, so the last thing that I do really like about this phone, honestly, is just how comfortable it is to use while gaming, especially if you compare it to the S22 Ultra with its flat sides and razor sharp edges. This phone is quite comfortable while gaming. Like this is how I play Call of Duty normally, It's like this. This phone is very comfortable while gaming. And also, it doesn't get as hot as the S22 Ultra. It still gets pretty warm, but it doesn't get as hot, which is good. All right, so that's it for the positives. Let's get on to the negatives. The first negative, in my opinion, is the charging speed. The charging speed isn't as fast as this phone right here. I mean, it gets the job done, but it's, it's not the fastest. You can find phones with faster charging speeds, which, honestly, I don't really care to buy because they are only usable on one carrier, usually, like AT&T as an example. And yes, I do have AT&T as my main carrier, but that's besides the point. Maybe you're a Verizon customer and you want really fast charging speeds, but don't want to buy one of these Chinese phones because you don't really trust Xi Jinping or whatever the Chinese government's name is at the time you don't trust them then really you get samsung and google for the android side in the u.s maybe one plus but they are sort of, they are still affiliated with a chinese company because they're owned by a chinese company and then you have apple which well my i'm recording with the 14 pro max so realistically your best bet is to go with samsung for charging speeds but they're still quite slow. 25 watt charging for wired and 15 watt wireless charging versus 45 watt wired charging and 15 watt wireless charging. Yeah. I can tell you experiences with the S22 Ultra charging speeds. I would be gone for like about 20 minutes. I'd go to the store as an example. This one would be on 20%. I'd plug it in. I'd go to the store come back from the store and this phone's already on like 65%. Whereas this phone is not even on 50% yet when I do the same thing. So yeah, if you're looking for charging speeds, then the S22 Ultra is going to be your better bet. The next thing I don't like about this phone is honestly just the curve, the curved display. Curved display, still got curved display. Now, not as curved as the S22 Ultra. The S22 Ultra is more curved. This still has a curved display. Not a fan of curved displays. Just going to say it right now, not a fan of curved displays. That was the one thing I loved about my S21 Plus the most was when I had that phone, the display was flat. Never had accidental touches, which was awesome. Wow, that sun is very bright. Holy cow. Move the camera right here. There, that's much better. Sun isn't as bright. This lighting is not great. Alright. So, the last thing that I really don't like about this phone, honestly, is just... There's no micro SD card slot. This was the first phone to drop it. And, yeah. That's, that's really about it. Not much I don't like about this phone. Honestly, this phone is great. You want to save yourself a couple of dollars? Go with this phone. 
over this phone. This phone's about to get Android 13 at the time I'm recording this. And it's still going to have two more OS updates after that. This phone is on Android 13 right now. It's going to get three more OS updates. So if you really care about OS updates, then go for this or hold off for the S23 Ultra. If you really, really care about OS updates. This phone's still going to do you fine. It's going to have software updates for another two years at the time I'm recording this. Before it goes on to just security updates. So, yeah. Software support's going to be good. And also, you're still going to get new features. You're still going to get new features on this phone, just like the S22 Ultra is going to. And you're probably even going to get some of the features the S23 Ultra is going to get. So, that's it for this video. I hope I enticed you to buy one of these. The S21 Ultra is just such a good phone. Fun fact, the S21 Ultra was so good that Marquez Brownlee used it. You know, MKBHD. He used this phone until the Pixel 6 Pro got an update to Android 13, which fixed all the problems. That's when he finally retired this phone. He used it for a year and a half, which is something that Marquez Brownlee doesn't normally do. He usually upgrades his phone every year. But with how many bugs the pixel 6 pro had he ended up just using this because he loves it he loved the design of it the fact that the back is matte black which actually i gotta clean the back and just just this phone's buttery smooth it's got really good experience you guys are gonna really like this phone if you buy it i'm not sure how much it is on the used market i think you can get it for 600 now if you find it in the right spots i know you can get it um, refurbished directly from Samsung, but that's like a thousand dollars, so I don't recommend that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, drop a like, and yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace out.